Welcome to a very special interview with a very special player. He was brilliant the other night. Absolutely brilliant. I mean, anybody who watched him in the final of the IPL in uh, you know 2023 knows how good he is. That 90 plus was an amazing innings. Amazing innings. And last time, I mean, last day when Shubman Gill and Sai Sudarshan took field, brilliant knock. That 100 was superb to watch. Every kind of shot, that lazy elegance that you see in left-handers, everything on was on display. But I'll talk about it. Before that, uh, Sai, something special happened. We are re recording this on Mother's Day. And, and, and I, I'm told that your mother and father had given you a surprise. Tell me about that. Yeah, I think, uh, yes, they gave me a great surprise, to be honest. They ha actually had a plan to come and watch this game. But I don't know, my mom had some work yesterday so she was not she said yeah she knows but she's not going to come for the game but i don't know whether it's true or not i think they have uh, they did that because to just surprise me but uh, it was a great surprise and i thought after the first innings oh god why my mom and dad did com didn't come for this game it could have been nice if they would have come but uh, eventually they were there and they watched the game when, when did you get to know they were there when did you when did you get to know uh, so actually what happened uh, after the match, our manager Satya, Satya Bhai told me that uh, your parents have come for the game. So I was really happy for that. <laughs> and 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 when did you meet them? I mean, when you met your mom, did you, what was the interaction? Because these are such great moments between mother Definitely, and son. Definitely, yeah. So I think, uh, and I came back to the hotel, they told me to come to the 8th floor that we have some cake or something. But eventually my parents were standing there near that uh, billboard which you have it's a big gt board here so they were standing near the in the uh, near that in the team room and they're waiting for me and it was very special my mom asked you never thought no i would come and surprise you but but yes she eventually did then it was a great surprise it can't be better than you know mother's day one day later and you're getting a hundred for her mother your mother and she is there unbelievable but sai tell me something both your parents have been sports people themselves i mean national level uh, father played in the south asian uh, saf games mother at the national level how important was that for you i mean coming up uh, as a sports person yourself in a sporting background i mean definitely that is uh, that is that has played a Im major impact impact or major role in my in my career because uh, they knew what it takes to you know uh, be there what it takes to be a great athlete or a great, great cricketer mentally and physically and uh, what all sacrifice we have to make what all things we have to cover to be a sports person in their life so i think that has helped me a lot i think mentally also they knew there'll be de there'll be definitely too many uh, you know too many failures than too many success mm -hmm. so i think they taught me a lot to how to manage it well not to change as a person even when we score when we don't score still i'm still learning it's not a it's not an acquired thing but i think it's it's how you manage it uh, when you go forward. You know, sport always teaches us how to lose, Sai. I mean, you will you will take Sachin, 200 test matches, 50 hundreds. What did that mean? 150 test matches, he did not score 100. That's what the lesson is. Abhinav Bindra, yeah. 1780 competition, 1600, he did not win, 180 he won. So he lost more. That's how sport is. Mm -hmm. And tremendous to know that your parents taught you these values. Tell me yeah. something. How was it batting with Shubman? I mean, at this age, the way Shubman has come around, future leader, your captain already. How is it batting with Shubman and, and, and what is it that you all talk in the middle? I mean, it's uh, actually we don't talk much. We don't, we don't, you know, interact much during the game, but it's all about the intensity which we have. We many times we used to, you know, uh, talk with our eyes. We used to just, you know, have that aggression on your taking on the bowler or have. I think it's more of that intensity and the way he played last game, it just reflected to me. And I think uh, that confidence gave me confidence to you know go and express myself the the fullest which i wanted to so i think uh, i'm learning a lot as well with human the way he bats we am having a lot of conversation with him regarding batting off the field also i think that is helping me a lot to get better as a cricketer sai sudarshan in 2023 was a was an unknown quantity unknown commodity it is it is easy in the first season for some players you come you do very well because people don't know you but the second season is always the hardest. In your case, Sai, you have gone better second season. That tells me you're a long horse. You're a, you're a person who will be there, play for India, go really go the distance. That shows talent. What is the difference between last season and this season for you? 
I mean, uh, last season, this season, last season gave me so many experiences, so many learnings. I played, I think, eight games last season. So, coming into this year, I think I've worked worked on few things in which I was not that great. I wanted to get better in those aspects, and I think that is helping me this year. And obviously, this year we have played twelve games as of now, and it has given me so many experiences. It's not been a great, great season. We have been so we had so many ups and downs. So I think uh, there are too many things to work on and get better after this season. And what are the too many things? Give me some at least. Give me, give me a peek. Uh, I think uh, decision making is. I've gotten better, but I think there's still more, uh, still more work to do, or still more uh, places to get improved in uh, decision making, so that. we take the right decision for the team to move forward in the situation something like that something about game awareness something about reading the situation well there's a bit of ganguly in some of the shots that you play i mean that extra little second that elegance through the offside and the big hits against the spinners who have you modeled on is there any player you've modeled yourself on while growing up i mean when i was when i was young i used to watch a lot of justin langer and uh, mike assi batting that's because i play a lot of cricket also when i was very young so i loved i love playing with them in the in that game so i started eventually started watching them play and uh, i think i've uh, idealized mike asi quite a few mm-hmm. times i'm actually interviewing jail day after tomorrow so i'll tell him i'll tell him that uh, uh, jail is a good friend so i'll i'll tell him that i've played him. i've played many innings with him in cricket or seven <laughs> I hundred percent will, and I will ask this question and send Bhavisha the clip to pass on to you because I'm interviewing yes, Jail day after tomorrow. Coming back, you know the IPL opened India doors for you, and that's what the IPL is for. It recognizes talent, provides opportunity. What is the way forward? I mean, you've clearly you're there. You've played for India last year against South Africa. Uh, clearly, you're playing very well. Thoughts on on ba- making it back to the national team? So I think I'm not thinking thinking on those lines to you know. just that i have a good season i should straight away go and play but i feel i have more i have a lot of things to improve and get better as a batsman so if i if i do that if i if i just equip myself in whatever possible way i can i think that that will eventually come the way come that will eventually come to me when it when i am ready or when the situation is ready so i think i'm focusing more on my batting so that uh, i will equip myself better for any situation or any any obstacle which comes in front of me you are clearly equipping yourself much better from what we've seen so far last few questions i one clearly t20 cricket is evolving if you see the way people are opening yourself included uh, sunil narayan travis head bill salt from ball one people are abhishek striking sharma. Uh, abhishek sharma absolutely are you sort of thinking along these lines as well that the power play has to count we have to get a 60 or 70 something like that this is a new game and you have to evolve accordingly is there a thought like that I mean, definitely, because the game is evolving a little quicker, and I think uh, we we as batsmen has to equip ourselves the way the game goes. That I think that's when you also try and uh, sustain sustain in that level if the game is evolving. So I think definitely there is a there is a thought or uh, awareness about it. But I think I think coming back to it, still believing your uh, strengths and trusting your trusting your process and strength is more important and uh, i feel having that intent will eventually close the gap in between you know getting a 100 in the ipl is very very rare very rare you got a 90 plus last year 96 if i remember this time a 100 how was the celebration you already told me what your parents did but how was the celebration within the team how would, what did you do was it relief when you got to that 100 was it elation just just get, sort of make me understand what sai sudarshan was feeling i mean uh, inside the ground there was no feeling it was just that uh, just that happiness of just crossing a milestone but when when i got out it was a bit emotional definitely i was a little bit upset also that it this could have come a bit earlier this this inning or this mindset or this selflessness could have come a bit earlier in the tournament it would have it would have helped the team you know to be in a better place in the points table but eventually we are we we go we go and you know get all these experiences to to be better in the coming coming forward days so i think uh, it it was a great experience because i had so many ups and downs in this tournament as well so that helped me or this innings helped me to reassure the way i am playing i think it is it is better to trust it trust our believe it is better to trust our abilities and just you know go there and express yourself not thinking about scoring or not thinking about anything else and just playing there and enjoying the situation 
I let you go, but clearly, I have to say this. I mean, you have been a bright, shining star of this IPL, not simply for GT, but for India. Because for me, the IPL, whoever wins, I don't, I don't care. Because any team wins, India wins. And as a journalist, I have to say this. Your batting is something that, that gives me hope about future of Indian T20 cricket. So well done. Keep going. More strength and more hundreds. And more your mother coming and celebrating with you. Because that you. makes it that much more special, Sai. Thank, Thank you very, very much. Thank you. What is the right time? Walk when it's great to crawl. Play when it's great to write. What is the right time? To be a born talent. To be a future champion. To walk alone. Playing under 16 at 12. Facing 20,000 balls with a half-grown spine. What is the right time? Too little to be selected. Too talented to be rejected. The paper's selector is all asking. What is the right time? The right time is when you do it. They say you're too young to play, but you're always old enough to dream. Don't worry about what the future will look like. Just prepare for it. Fearless plans from Aegis Federal Life Insurance help you and your family prepare for the future.